Huawei has done it again. This time, they're stepping into the future with Harmony OS next, their boldest operating system yet. After years of challenges, especially following US sanctions that cut off their access to Google services, Huawei is pushing forward with complete independence. But here's the catch. Harmony OS Next is no longer dependent on Android. It's a brand new system built entirely from the ground up on Huawei's own Harmony kernel. Stick around because this update could completely change the way Huawei users experience their devices and there's a surprising solution for one of their biggest problems. When Harmony OS first launched, it supported Android APK files, meaning Huawei still relied on Android's ecosystem to some extent, but Harmony OS Next changes everything. Huawei has removed all Android code, creating an ecosystem that supports apps developed natively for Harmony OS. This is a huge leap for Huawei's vision of a completely independent operating system. Starting in 2025, all Huawei devices, including the much-anticipated Mate 70 series, will come pre-installed with Harmony OS. Next, the public beta is already live, and the results are turning heads. Millions of Huawei users worldwide could soon be running this revolutionary OS, but here's where it gets interesting. For users outside of China, particularly in Europe, the reliance on Google services has always been a major hurdle. Let's be real. How you live without apps like YouTube, Hula Maps, Gmail, or Chrome in today's world? Huawei has an answer, a tool called Easy Abroad, a built-in Android emulator that lets users install and run Google apps seamlessly on Harmony OS Next devices. Through Huawei's app gallery, you can access a dedicated store where apps like Instagram, Netflix, and even Google Chrome can be installed. These apps appear in a specific folder on your home screen and run surprisingly smoothly, thanks to Huawei's use of microkernel technology. Beta testers who tried Easy Abroad are reporting impressive performance, Apps load quickly, streaming works well, and the overall experience feels smooth and functional. A few hiccups remain. Some apps may not push notifications perfectly, but for users who can't give up Google Apps, this solution works like a charm. It's an incredible workaround that bridges the gap between full independence and real-world practicality. Huawei's decision to drop Android entirely is nothing short of ambitious, and Harmony OS Next could reshape the global smartphone market. With their Pangu AI model integrated into the system, Huawei is also emphasizing AI-powered apps that feel smarter, faster, and more efficient. For the first time, Huawei users will experience an ecosystem that's built for their devices from the ground up, no compromises, no middle ground. But the big question remains, can Huawei succeed globally without full access to Google? In China, Harinios has already taken over, with over 700 million devices running previous versions. The real test will be how quickly users outside of China adopt this system. If Easy Abroad performs as well as early testers suggest, Huawei could have solved one of its biggest problems. So what's your take on this? Is Harmony OS next Huawei's bold move toward tech independence? Or do tools like Easy Abroad show that it's still too early to ditch Android entirely? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest tech innovations. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.